Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, did you guys see that video that this medical doctor named Z Dog made of him watching and reacting to the film What the Health? And the reason why I'm responding here is because Z Dog spent the entire time basically ridiculing the vegan medical doctors, ridiculing and disputing all the science that shows a plant based diet is the best diet for people. Well, anyway, let's take a look. But I wanted to talk with an actual expert on the role of diet and diabetes. What role does sugar? Okay, hold on. How is it that Dr. Neil Barnard gets the title premier researcher and diabetes expert? Like, what do you need to do to have that? Fortunately, a few days ago, Dr. Garth Davis, who, like Neil Barnard, is primarily featured in this film, made a video response. And let's let Dr. Garth Davis speak for Neil Barnard's credentials. Well, Dr. Barnard uh, has a very, very good paper uh, that is commonly cited, and you could look it up. It was a 72-week study on vegan diet versus the ADA diet uh, for diabetic control. Uh, and he's actually written some very, very good articles. In fact, in the Obesity Society meeting, one of his articles got best uh, article of the year where they're comparing uh, several diets uh, for weight loss and of course the vegan diet did the best. Dr. Z Dog spends a lot of time and energy debunking the notion that dietary fat is what causes diabetes. Diabetes is not and never was caused by eating a high carbohydrate diet and it's not caused by eating sugar. The cause of diabetes is a diet that builds up the amount of fat into the blood. I'm talking about a typical meat-based, animal-based diet into the muscle cells of the human body. Did he just say that fat in the blood is what causes diabetes? He says in the video, uh, fat in the blood, that doesn't make you insulin. He doesn't quite get it. It's fat in the muscle cells, intramyocellular fat. He missed that. It's causing insulin resistance. What that means is, the sugar that is naturally from the foods that you're eating can't get into the cells where it belongs. It builds up in the blood and that's diabetes. Ah, that crazy look that Z Dog gets on his face there. I think that's the unintended reaction his body gets when exposed to truth for the first time because he does that over and over and over again. Well, let's get to some science here that shows that what Dr. Neil Bernard is saying is factually correct. Studies dating back nearly a century noted a striking finding. If you take young, healthy people and split them up into two groups, half on a fat-rich diet and the other half on a carb-rich diet, within just two days this is what happens. The glucose intolerance skyrockets in the fatty diet group. In response to the same sugar water challenge, the group that had been shoveling in fat ended up with twice the blood sugar. If you eat fatty diet and it gets into the cells in your muscle, it interferes with your muscle's ability to make insulin receptors, then you become insulin resistant. We've got many, many studies to show that. But of course, Z-Dog has his own unscientific reasoning on how this happens. The reason that fat builds up in those tissues is because of a high carbohydrate, high triglyceride generating diet. So by that reasoning, since vegans eat more carbohydrates on average than your standard American diet eater because we're eating tons of fruits and you know potatoes, legumes, and rice, getting tons of carbs, you should have, as a percentage, more type 2 diabetic vegans than standard American diet eaters. Uh, you know, vegan with diabetes is a very rare phenomena, um, whereas meat eaters with diabetes is a very common phenomena. I see it on a daily basis, which is something that Z-Dog doesn't see because he's not sitting. I, I can't do a fancy video like him because he's not sitting on a day-to-day -day basis seeing patients for these disease processes, treating them, and then seeing the results. Carbs cannot make you fat in and of themselves. Carbs cannot make you fat in and of themselves, dude. Tell that to homie drinking the syrupy soda with the sugar in it. The bottom line is, yeah, simple carbs mixed with a fatty diet, the standard American diet, is going to give you insulin resistance and is going to facilitate fat being held in the body when you eat it. But if you're eating a very high carb diet with a very low fat diet, basically a fruit and vegetable, beans, whole food, plant-based diet, which we recommend, you're not gonna get insulin resistance or very few people will. When we eat carbs, we either store it or we burn it. Now eat fat, that goes straight to your fat. Your body can't turn those carbs into fat unless you're really overdoing the calories. There's that crazy look again when he gets exposed to truth for the first time. Obesity, it's a death sentence. 
did this guy actually take a physiology class? Like he then makes fun of me and asks, have I ever done a physiology class? You know, look, does he really think I've, I'm just making stuff up when I say this? He, he, he really starts making fun at the point where I say that you cannot turn carbs to fat, or it's very difficult, I say, to turn carbs to fat, and it's true. It's called de novo lipogenesis. The de novo lipo pro process uh, requires that you be in whey calorie excess and that all your glycogen stores, your storage of carbs and your muscle cells, be saturated before any of that fat will be, any of those carbs will be turned to fat, and in order to do that, it takes energy, so you're actually burning energy in order to do that. Of course, bro doctor here, like any third-rate, low-carb blogger I've ever seen, believes, no, fat can't make you fat, it's carbs. Like, are you kidding me? Wait, you, carbs can't be turned into fat? Like, fat goes right into fat? In fact, there are lots of science that I don't think Z-Dog has looked at, where if you radioactively label fat and eat it, it does go very fat to, fast to the fat stores. Um, but you do store that fat right away. Carbs do not get stored at fat. They get stored as glycogen in muscle cells so they can be readily available for energy. No, fat can be absolutely metabolized into ketone bodies and used for fuel. But in the normal human being, you don't eat fat and turn it immediately to fuel especially in the setting of a low carbohydrate diet that isn't for everybody. That fat can be utilized as ketones. And he's correct about that if you're in ketosis. Do you know how few people, no one's in ketosis. The only people that are in ketosis are people that are starving or doing an Atkins or ketosis based diet. So he should, if look, the problem with this documentary already is that it's gonna mislead people into thinking there's one answer, right? And it is not one answer. This is a complex issue. That's why nutrition is so difficult to study and to recommend because there's no one size fits all. I really have a pet peeve for those who promote this kind of relativism when it comes to diet and nutrition and health. There's some studies out there, they say, oh, low carb is good. Other studies say high carb vegan's good. There is no truth. They just throw their hands in the air and say, I don't know what to do. Well, the fact of the matter, there is a truth of the matter as far as what diets work best for people. It can't be one works for one diet works for others, one works for another. Let's look at the longest lived people in the world, people living in blue zones. Are they eating high carb or low carb? We are one of the most overweight countries in the world and we keep getting more and more overweight. And people say, well, then the low fat diet didn't work. We never went on a low fat diet. In fact, we eat a lot more fat now, both by content and by percentage than we did 20 to 30 years ago. We also eat more just about everything except fruits and vegetables. If you look at all the blue zones that they, they did, Ikaria, Okinawa, the Nicoyan Peninsula of Costa Rica, um, the Seventh Day of Venice, the, um, if you look at their diets, their diets are extremely carb heavy, extremely. In Okinawa, they're eating tons and tons of yams. That's the vast majority of your diet. Lots of grains and breads and stuff in Sardinia. Um, beans and rice and vegetables and fruits in the Nicoyan Peninsula of Costa Rica. They're eating tons of carbs. They're eating tons of carbs, living longer than people anywhere else in the world. Diseases like heart disease, diabetes, strokes are virtually unheard of in these regions. Yet you have guys like Dr. Z Dog saying, hey, you know, we don't know what to eat. It's kind of confusing. Maybe we should eat lots of carbs. Maybe we should not eat lots of carbs. We don't know. Baloney, there is a clear message in what the health and it's eat tons of plants. And this applies to all people across the world. Doesn't matter about your genetics like Z Dog says. Here's what I suggest. If you're a doctor and you really want to help your patients, especially now that you're in social media, Z Dog, if you're a seeker of truth, instead of criticizing Dr. Garth Davis, read his book. Proteinaholic, and more importantly, look at all the scientific references he has in the back of the book. Let the science speak to you. Don't let Dr. Garth or me be the one who persuades you. Let the science itself persuade you. There's a mountain of science out there, and as Dr. Garth suggested, you probably are not that familiar with all the science about plant-based diets and health. So just do yourself a favor and get up on it. So anyway, leave your questions and comments down below, guys. Did you see this Z-Dog video? What did you think about his reaction to What the Health? Were you as frustrated as I was too? And what did you think about Dr. Garth's response? Let me know about that. When I saw that video, go, hell yeah, it's about time. And um, 
if you like this kind of video of me showing these, you know, exposing these um, lies about plant-based diets, hit like. And if you're new, subscribe for more from me, me and Angie here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, stay away from these low-carb people like Z Dog. Instead, keep it carb, baby. Keep it carb.